So that was it for Colosseum. Now we'll turn to Nilin to talk about the Almanacs. So Almanacs, we've talked to you about it for a while now. The first time that we mentioned it was during Japan Expo of last year. If I don't, I'm not saying n'importe quoi, whatever, uh, we have said that we were thinking about the Almanacs. We wanted to modify things about it and modernize it in essence. So we've brought some uh, modifications to the Almanacs. Why did we want to make any changes? First thing, it is a 10 year old piece of content. So everything that we've had in the last decade is not reflected in the Almanacs. So the vast majority of the last added content is high level and you can't see it in the almanacs. So given that every day is a different bonus, there were loads of redundancies of so similar bonuses, similar areas and stuff like that. So it really seemed to us very important, not only for the variety of the content, to bring players a bit everywhere in the map and in the world of 12 and also to use a wider variety of resources we thought we needed to update the almanacs so we started talking about it effectively at the japan expo from last year because that's when we started working on it for very many 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 months so we spent a lot of time working on it <laughs> we've been working on it for longer than 365 days that's a joke so here, with the Almanacs, we've revamped or worked on three main axes. So, as I've said to you earlier, we've added every area in the game now is part of the Almanac. So, absolutely every area is represented. Every family, at least, will be represented in the Almanacs over a year. So, from all the offerings that will be asked, all the families will be represented. Families think mobs. So, this represents about two-thirds of the almanac's bonuses in total have been completely redone so we've swiped them clear and added new ones we've also modified or brought some modifications about the, at the number uh, of resources requested so usually for the mass majority of quests it was two resources so between the start of the almanacs and now we've added a nifty little rule called a proportional drop rate which means the higher your level is, the easier it is for you to drop low level resources. So what we've done is augmented the number of low level resources and the higher level ones will remain at two. That's not a big problem. And also in particular situations when there is a resource that is spread across an entire family. We've thought about this as well. And also, um, hold on, she says something. We've also taken that into consideration when, so to not have multiple uh, repetitions of it. And contrary to that, when there is a rare resource with a very high, very low drop rate, we have reduced the occurrence, the occurrence of it and the number you need to one. So in generally, if you look at the entire almanac, it's between one and nine resources, depending on the rarity level and things like that. But most likely will be two. And also, when we require offerings that are items that you can equip that we found a problem i don't know if you guys knew about this um now if you have two of the same item the theo the guy the guy you give um he will not take the object because if you have more than one you need to double check that it's not an object with an exo or some sort of maiden on it because we don't have the in-house possibility to make the npc know about which object to pick from your inventory the one with the exo or not there's too many factors at play so we've decided that if you have two of any item then you will not be able to give it to him automatically we'll send you a message to stop and remove the other one from your inventory high day equip it so that he can take the other one so you need to have only one equipped uh, in your inventory in order to access it the other thing is bonuses that were changed replaced or homogenized right so there's a lot of expectations here for you so I will put my foot straight on the pedal because I've seen a lot of people talk about this very word. It's EcoCraft. It was a big debate. A lot of people were against, a lot of people were for. So we've decided to keep it. However, we've decided to reduce the occurrence of EcoCrafts in an almanac over a year. So what we've noticed, there were on average two EcoCraft bonuses every month. So if you had a profession, you had so many eco crafts that you could profit from during an entire year. So that has been drastically reduced. So now there's one global bonus. There will be only one day where all the all the professions will benefit from an eco craft. And in parallel, 
every profession will have its own eco-craft bonus, knowing that we've included uh, maging in these professions, so there will be bonuses for um, maging as well, eco-crafts. So um, how will you ask me about how do you do that? How, how will you make it work? <laughs> so how it translates for us is the possibility for... So in essence, there is a chance of not consuming a rune when you press it. That's how it will work in essence. That's the short and sweet for it. But there were some other bonuses that were completely new that were added. What were those, what was what was that all about? So what we tried to do is also cover the functionalities that we've added in the meantime, like treasure hunts. Uh, we've added some bonuses related to treasure hunts. So when you do a treasure hunt, you have a chance to drop, uh, ooh, special chests that will that have a higher rate of uh, Roses of Sands and other bonuses inside like items or whatever, something cool. We've added some uh, points in the Infinite Dreams. Huh, she didn't say any more about that. We've added one bonus for related to the Infinite Dream points. That is so very good, this is me. <laughs> We have for Majin, we've added also new consumables for... So when you give resources to um, to pets, there will be one extra bonus to ameliorate and enhance the XP that pets get from resources for Majin, from Majin. We've also added new bonuses on crushing to increase the generation of runes. Okay, okay. What else? So you've listed everything that you've that I've I had mentioned already. So I'm forgetting. So also the Amanax is also made to be discovered throughout the year. So I invite everyone to go on the bet and try it. Also on the website, the Crossmos website will have uh, the new bonuses added and changed. No, 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 not the APMP transess licks. No, that's not what she's saying. What she said is the uh, XP that pets will get from uh, Smith Magic related resources will increase. They will not add those on the live server. They will only add them on the beta. I've, I've written about this earlier on the Discord. Only during the beta will we have this so people can mimic and recreate the exos that they have in the real server or try better combinations without having to go to the um, workshop and try and land an exo. So we will also have the right to observe, we will give ourselves the right to observe the rates of use of things and some bonuses that we've added, which is once a year. We've added one bonus. Oh, we've added one bonus a year, which is two lines of drop. So we will have the opportunity to have two lines of drop when you fight monsters. This is really strong, so we will keep an eye on the drop rates and things like that. And anyway, for all the new bonuses, we will keep a keen eye and we reserve the right to modify them if we see that this is a bit too much. <laughs> so people are making the um, comparison to the chest, the living chest that Anutrofs had, the extra line of drop. And to end, Th this topic, the third axis is um, rewards. So very generally, the Almatons, XP, and the way to get the Dominax are completely unchanged. However, we have divided by two, the Gamma Cane. So this has been a shock when we, me when we mention it like this, but, 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 there is something that we need to know. Over the year, you need to know, because of the new addition of all the resources, all the zones, all the mob families, the reduction works out at about 20%, because there'll be more regularly zones coming from higher level areas, which means higher um, quests that bring about more karmas. So here in essence, she's saying, you know those uh, quests that you get every now and then that give you 40k, 38, 42, 45, uh, those are usually high-level quests in the chain of Almanax. And now, while they've completely split everything by two, the the gross cost, so the, the raw cameras that you gain have been split by two, they've added more higher-level areas, which means if you add everything all together and work it out, it only is about 20% less cameras than you gain now in the current system, because there are higher-level 
quests added in there more higher level quests which usually give more commas so even if you only get the half of those <laughs> you're still getting uh, just 20 percent less than you are getting now over a year which isn't a big change if you think about it 20 percent is hardly a nerf <laughs> Yes, but they will always be able to buy the items from uh, the marketplace and give them to uh, Anticlimax, his name is, I think, and do the quest. Right, about the XP, that's not going to move. XP will stay the same. The Almatones, the tokens you get, will remain exactly the same. And the uh, Almanac's obtention will be identical to how it is now. Ah, yeah. And just to end, we also have touched on the topic of uh, rewards. There will be new purchases that will be available on uh, in the shop you know the ones that you use the almatons for so we've added four um haven sack bags so one for every season and we have added a, a pets mount uh cosmetic and we've also added some little consumables some little transformations or little characters that follow you wherever you go and also three titles some of which can be obtained by having done a specific quest for the marriage for example and we've also added documents that will tell you more about the almanacs and give you more lower details for those of you who like to read and know more about the story and everything will be purchasable by the the, the big lady that is at, outside the doors and also we haven't specified this but the almanac pages that have already been obtained in the past will and the almatons that have been obtained will stay it will be with you you will be able to use them towards these purchases so people who have a history built with the game you will be able to still make use of those tokens and everything towards the new purchases like the new haven bags which look very very cool if you think about it there's a zap in the middle of the almanac sample <laughs> so you'll be able to see all of this for yourself on the beta tomorrow so you can see the actual numbers the values in order to purchase them and things like that so more details log into the beta tomorrow and go and check that for yourself so, and if you have any questions, the most interesting thing would be to come back to us at the end of the live so we can cover more things right now. 